how do you get something like this to display something like this? Ooh. Is that, is that an HTML page? What? This says HTML. Why does this say PHP? What's going on? This is perhaps one of the most perplexing, vexing problems that junior and beginning developers have is getting their dev environment set up. When I was first starting out, I spent hours trying to get a simple Apache server running so I could display this kind of code in my browser. Now. Today, I'm not gonna go too far into the weeds, but I am gonna show you how you can get stuff like this to display in your browser. Now, the reason you can't just rip open a code editor and start typing PHP and display it in your browser is because JavaScript is the only language, the only programming language that browsers natively understand. With a language like PHP, you need a server to serve it to display on the browser. I have a feeling there's a lot of you out there who are in the same boat, but a lot of people are scared or maybe intimidated to ask questions like this because it seems obvious and maybe you feel sheepish. I know on Stack Overflow when people ask questions like this, they get absolutely annihilated. And Stack Overflow can be very negative, but that's not the point of this video. I'm gonna show you how this works. Now, the first thing you may be noticing that looks a little weird is that I named this a PHP file but the doc type has been declared HTML. Uh-oh, that's already looking a little weird. And then sprinkled throughout the body is stuff like this. Like, ooh, I don't think I've ever seen this in an HTML document. And how did you just like sprinkle in more HTML here and then throw in some PHP? What I'm doing here is embedding snippets of PHP along with some HTML inside the PHP to display in my browser. PHP is a backend language that powers everything from WordPress to OpenCart and pretty much every e-commerce app that you've ever seen. You can also use PHP for stuff like sign-in forms, authenticating users, stuff like that. Really, really useful. The other thing that can confuse newbies too is that if you're developing on a Mac, Macs ship with an Apache server built in. It can be kind of hard to find, but it's under library and then you scroll down to web server and then um, documents, and then you can launch it from here. It's fraught with errors. By the time you figure out how this works as a noob, you're gonna be throwing your head against the wall. Ask me how this huge welt that's permanently on the left side of my head got there. <laughs> this can be really frustrating. Your best bet is to download either MAMP. There's also something called SHAMP. I don't know how to spell it. X-A-M-P-P. -P. It's up to you which one you want to download, but I prefer MAMP. The interface is just a little cleaner. I'm not gonna show you how to download this because it's simply a matter of clicking a button and putting it on your machine and I'm not going to insult you with that. So download that to your machine. And once you have it ready, I'm gonna walk you through how to do this. We're gonna go over to preferences. And the first thing we're gonna do is check this. Uh, this is just like some default stuff. Your ports, port 8888 is a great little port. We're gonna stick with that. PHP, fine web server, we're gonna stick with Apache. Now this is the part that's really important. You have to specify your document root. So if your PHP file was in downloads, for example, you'd have to navigate to downloads. And from there, you would just click it and drop it in. However, that is not where our document root is. Our document root is in documents under the folder PHP practice. This is the file I just was showing you a few minutes ago. So we're gonna go ahead, whoops, where'd you go? Take the folder, not the file, take the folder, Drop it in right there, and then it automatically updated. We're gonna hit OK. And I think everything's looking good with that. Let's just double check we have everything. Apache server, our port AAA8. PHP is looking good. I'm not using MySQL. Let's just look at it anyway. Okay, great. OK. Took about 20 seconds, but you can see that the servers are online because you have the little green online button on both of those. So now you might be thinking, OK, can I just like click on this thing and open it with like Chrome or something? Tell me you're kidding. 
Now, I know most of you who are watching the video to this point have seen something like this and have gotten very frustrated. This has happened to me so many times. Like, my server's on, why isn't this rendering? It's just, ugh, this is so frustrating. Okay, so this is what you have to do. We have to do something a little different. We have to preface this with local host, all right? This is imperative. And for bonus points, if you remember what number we put in there, 8888, eight, eight, eight. that was the number we specified. We're gonna go ahead, hit enter, and see what happens. Ooh, we're getting somewhere. Ooh, let's see if it works. Look at that, served. This PHP file has been served to your browser. How awesome is that? If you screw it up like 40 times, I've screwed it up like 50 times, so don't worry. This is one of those things that was just like, wow, it shouldn't have been this complicated. Why have I spent like two weeks doing this? Um, but once you figure it out and use something like MAMP, your life's gonna be better. You don't have to be a stud and like navigate to the web server that's built in to your Mac or whatever. MAMP works awesomely and so does Champ. That is how you get PHP files to display in your browser. If you have any questions, visit my Real Tough Candy Gitter chat room. Lots of smarties there. Leave me a comment. Um, a lot of smart people who watch these videos as well, they'll be happy to answer your questions. I don't want you to be embarrassed. This shouldn't be embarrassing, but unfortunately the tone of places like Stack Overflow make you feel stupid because you're asking important questions that, you know, people with like IQs of 500 think are ridiculous questions, but they're really not. Um, so I hope this was helpful. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, keep this channel moving forward. I thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.